Hey, hey, what do you feel about this headlines here? What do you feel about this? Okay, we're going to talk about NEO here, the news, and we're going to look at the stock chart. Okay, we're going to go over both of that. I just want to go through some of the news here. Okay, this is from June 26, 2024. June 26, just a couple of days ago. Right now it's June 29th that I'm reporting this on. So this is what happened. They're saying that NEO, the, upcom- the upcoming uh, Onvo L60, I'm just going to call it the Onvo, okay? It looks like a Tesla. Long story short, people. Similarities. How do we know this from s- spy shots? Where did we see these spy shots at? It was in WeChat. What is WeChat? WeChat is like China's Twitter or something like that. Okay, where they're, you know, communicating with each other, their social media, let's say. Okay, so like I said, there's some spy shots. So now what looks like the Tesla? All right, you can see this right here, but let me scroll down. There's a couple of key parts that looks like a Tesla. And tell me, how do you feel about it? Okay, write it in the chats because is Neo going to be known to be a knockoff Tesla? Is that, is that what's going to happen here? Okay, so this is circling like a certain circle circulating, like I said, in the WeChat groups. So what is it? The model's interior. There's certain details that look like the Tesla. They're saying that it could undergo some adjustments before the final production. Okay, I hope it does uh, undergo some adjustments because right now it's resembling the Tesla. Okay, what part? Oval steering wheel. We got three parts that, that's ticking everybody off. The steering wheel looks like a Tesla with the minimal buttons, Okay. So we have the steering wheel. That's one of the things that look like that, all right? So we have that. And then, okay, it's something about here. They're saying, okay, a gear shifter. Okay, this uh, rem- reminiscent of, of the Tesla models before. So something about that. Then they're talking about, okay, the report read that it distinguished itself with a horizontal 17 and 17.2 inch center screen a departure from Neil's current vertical screen design. So a preference voiced by the Neo community for years, but I guess they're biting off a Tesla center screen type of thing going on here. And then also, this is the part that I don't like. This is the part I don't like. Listen, look, this right here. Who else has a glass roof like that besides Tesla people? If anybody's seen inside of a Tesla, the glass roof is amazing, sunroof, okay? So now all of a sudden, Neil's gonna have that. How do you feel about that? Because we're gonna go look at our stock because look at this. All righty, let's just move on here. We gotta talk about it. We always have to talk about everything because we were coming in a downward projection here in this channel. So right here at this level, $4.16, $4.16, this is this line right here. Will it stop? The candle's resting right on it. So look at this upper left side. You can see this is the daily time frame. This is Neo. okay? So will it stop here or will it break through? So will this be a little bit of support? We don't know. We don't know, especially if the market's bad next week, right? So if we drop and we go through that, that little trend line, you see here before the stock interacted with this price, $3.72. We may get catch the support here before it was support, like walking on the floor of a house, right? So hopefully we stop there because we did before this between April and May of this year, right? Did it before. So hopefully do it again. So now what am I thinking? What am I thinking? And what's this video about? Are we going to squeeze people? Yes. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. What? Short squeeze people. When we were over here, when the price goes low, when you have a stock with a low price because people are shorting it. Believe it or not, people, there are people shorting your Neo stock that's forcing it to go down, right? But when the price goes but so low, sometimes and people start buying, buying, buying. There's a there's a uh, thing that happens. This happens. Take a moment for everybody who doesn't know. Okay. It's a phenomenon in the financial markets where it's a sharp rise in the price. Okay, so there could be a sharp rise in Neo's price as the traders who were previously shorting, they're they're uh, forced to close out their positions. Okay, they're forced to close out. When they have to close out those those uh when they were short selling so long and they're they're forced to close it out, this strong buying pressure squeezes the stock upward. People, okay, the short sellers 
are out of the market. They, they get squeezed out. Okay, so what would that look like? That looks like what happened over here. It looks like this kind of thing. When all of a sudden we go so low and then the shorts, they're squeezed out and then the stop just goes, Pew! okay? And it just starts going up as the shorts are like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to, I'm, it's called cover. I'm gonna have to cover, I'm gonna have to cover it because they have to unwind their position. And when they unwind their position, the stock just keeps going up, 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 up like that. So will Neo have a short squeeze when we get down here in this area? Okay, that's something to know. Think about, right? So I'm not in Neo presently, currently. Okay, I'm not because I don't, I don't play this. I don't play this downward move unless I'm shorting. I'm not shorting Neo, right? But I, I, I'll know, oh, pick it up here. You know, pick it up here and see how far I can ride it up. Now, will it stop here? You see how this downward channel, you know, so will we have resistance here, like around here, this level, this level, that level? Probably, you see this level? When, when it got squeezed before, buy here, sell there, okay? It went all the way up to here. So will that happen again? Maybe, maybe. So that is, that's a play that I could see unfolding and unwinding. And I said, let me make sure I tell the Neo community like, hey, you're getting into short squeeze territory again. All right. And then at the time, now this is how it always, this is so cute, it's adorable, right? Once we get down here, it'll probably be some news released. Neo will probably release some kind of news that sounds good at the same time. So a lot of, let's say, regular people will think that, oh, wow, look, this is so good. This is why it's, this, it's going up so much right now. No, it was going to go up anyway because it's in short squeeze territory. That's what's going on. <laughs> it's in the short squeeze territory. And then the news catches everybody's attention too. And so then more and more, let's say regular people, okay, start coming in and buying, buying, buying. You really force a squeeze, you know? So that's what may unfold coming up. All righty. So I just wanted to let y'all know that because look, when's the last time we've been this low? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. This is 2024. So, you know, you have to go further, further, further back to be at this level. So let's see, other than that, what's the last time we've been this low? See, look how far you have to go back. You have to go all the way in this territory. This is between 2020 and 2021. See? So, we may squeeze. That's good news for going up. All right. All right. Talk to you next time in the next video. Let's see. Doesn't have to squeeze, but it, you know, done it before. I could do it again. Click like, subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye for now.